Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the Back to the Future theme song. Very awesome, give you a preview of the main theme you're going to learn. It goes like this, check it out. from the start, okay? Anyway, let's get right into it. So here we go. Let's break it up to parts to learn it so it's easier. We'll break it up into four parts, okay? It's actually not that hard. There's actually patterns to it, okay? So the first part goes like this. Right hand starts off on the A flat here. Middle C's here for reference. So A flat above middle C. So A flat down to D flat up to G, and then A flat, B flat, A flat, F, D flat, G, and then A flat, B flat, okay, and that's it for this particular first part, let's do it again, so it goes like this, it goes A flat down to D flat to G, A flat, B flat, A flat, F, D flat, G, A flat, B flat, okay, and that's it for the right hand for this First part, once you get that, left hand we have uh, one, two, three, four chords here. The four chords are really simple, it's just uh, alternating between two chords. The first chord is D flat major, which is D flat, F, A flat. Second chord is E flat major with D flat bass, which is D flat, E flat, G, B flat. Okay, and then the third chord alternate back to D flat major again, and fourth chord alternate back to that E flat major, D flat bass. Okay, so with these four chords in mind, the two hands together goes like this, A flat and D flat major together, so it goes together, G and the next chord together, A flat and D flat major together, G and the chord together, like that. One more time, it goes together, two, three, four, together, two, together, together, like that. Moving on to the second part, right continues, goes, a flat down to E flat up to A flat up to the higher E flat E flat again D C D E flat and that's it for the right hand for this second part. Okay, one more time it goes like this it goes A flat down to E flat up to A flat up to the higher E flat E flat D C D E flat. That's it for the right hand. Okay, once you get the right hand there, left hand, we have four chords here. The four chords are uh, the first inversion of A flat major, which is C, E flat, A flat. Second chord is F minor, which is F, A flat, C. Third chord is B flat major, which is B flat, D, F. And fourth chord is E flat major, which is E flat, G, B flat. Okay, so with these four chords in mind, so first inversion of A flat major, F minor, B flat major, and E flat major, the two ends together goes like this. So A flat and chord together. A flat and F minor together. Second E flat and B flat major together. E flat and E flat major together. Like that. One more time, it goes like this. It goes together, 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 together. And there you have it. So back to back, the two parts of blood so far we play like this. Okay. Okay, something awesome happens for the third and fourth part, okay? Because this third and fourth part is actually pretty much exactly the same as the first and second part. The only difference is, okay, if you're a beginner, it will be a bit harder to like actually do this kind of trick. It's actually the exact transposition of all the notes in the first and second part, but everything is moved up by one, two, three, four, five, five semitones upwards, okay? So instead of starting at A flat, we can move up to the five semitones higher, so one, two, three, four, five, so start on the D flat. And also the chords, instead of D flat major, it's G flat major, okay? So I'll play it once so you can see that is the case. So, if you can't see that pattern, it's all right, because not everyone can see it right at the start as a beginner, okay? But anyways, I'll tell you all the notes and all the chords so you can kind of like get it, okay? But it's a good exercise to actually try it for yourself, pause the video, and actually start transposing what you learned in the first and second part upwards by five semitones, everything. All the notes on the right hand, all the chords, and it will be exactly what you're gonna learn in this third and fourth part right now, okay? So it goes, 
Right hand goes D flat down to G flat up to C. D flat, E flat, D flat, B flat, G flat, C. D flat, E flat, D flat down to A flat up to D flat up to higher A flat, A flat, G, F, G, A flat. Okay? So that's that, okay? Left hand, the chords are the same transposed uh, four or five semitones higher. So it goes G flat major, G flat, B flat, D flat. Second chord is that A flat major, G flat bass, which is G flat, A flat, C, E flat. And then remember, it alternates back to G flat major for the third chord, and fourth chord alternates back to that A flat major, G flat bass. And then the fifth chord goes to first inversion of D flat major, which is F, A flat, D flat. Next chord is B flat minor, which is B flat, D flat, F. Next chord is E flat major, which is E flat, G, B flat. And then the next chord is A flat major, which is A flat, C, E flat. Okay? So with that in mind, all that just goes together, just like the first and second part placement. So it's like together, 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 together. Okay? So yeah. The skill of being able to transpose to a different key on the spot is really important, so it's good for you to practice these first two parts followed by the third, fourth part as a transposition of the first two parts, okay? But anyways, yeah, that's the trick for this lesson. Make sure you try to understand that because it is an important thing to do, okay? Because like in other songs sometimes, if there's a key change and it's actually the same thing as the chorus, then it will be a good thing to know how to transpose it instantly, okay? And on the spot, or maybe just write it down, be able to try to uh, transpose it as well, okay? Okay, but anyways, that's pretty much it. So once you learn all the melody and chords of this, you can start to add other improvisation and decoration patterns to make it more awesome. You can do left hand like octave arpeggio patterns. You can even do just like like rhythmic patterns as well. That kind of thing. So you're like Awesome stuff. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you did, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally I have multiple thousands and thousands and thousands of other videos like these for you to enjoy and learn from. So most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Check out my website as well, bestpianomethod.com for more piano courses. Enjoy your time and see you next time. Thanks for watching. For those who want to learn my methods on how to play any song by ear, grab the free preview of my book. Or just visit my website, bestpianomethod.com, for all my other piano mastery courses, sheet music, song requests, and services. All the links are in the description below. See you next time.